Hey guys, this is Trevor Daly. Hey, I wanted to share a quick video on how I do my Lightroom backups. And the reason I want to share this video is because the last video I shared, um, I think it gave some people the misunderstanding that because I'm saving my information, uh, of my edits from a Lightroom uh, into an XMP file or a DNG, um, that I'm not backing up my catalogs. And of course, that is not the case. I definitely think it's important to have your catalogs backed up in Lightroom to have that information there to, to basically cover your butt. Um, with that being said, like I said, I think there was a misunderstanding. So I wanted to just share a quick one or two minute video here and just show you how I back my catalogs up and where I do it. And it's something that I think is really important as well. And so basically in Lightroom, when you uh, go to exit, it will ask you if you want to back that up. That is if you have that setting on. Now let's just talk about where those settings are. If you go up to Lightroom catalog settings um, right here, now in, in the, on the PC that would be under edit and then catalog settings. Uh, right here, it's going to ask you, do you want to do this every time Lightroom exits, once a day, once a week, once a month? You know, honestly, probably once a day is just fine for most people. Um, I suppose if you're doing tons of edits and you're bringing files in all the time, maybe these other options are, are you know will work for you. But the reason I have this checked now is because I actually want to show you something really important, and that's the actual location of your backup. So I'm going to change this to every time Lightroom exits just so that I can exit right now and I can get this dialog box that pops up. Now this dialog box that pops up, it says um, the location of where I'm going to have that backed up. Now you'll notice on mine, it backs up to my Dropbox into a folder called Lightroom Backups. So I basically, instead of having this go to my computer, uh, my, my desktop or my, my laptop on the, the hard drive there, I have that Lightroom catalog go somewhere else. Um, and I do that just in case, let's say I have a, a faulty... Um, you know, hard drive on my computer or something else. I want to make sure that it's offline, that I can have that catalog. I can pull it up at any time. Same thing goes with my photos. You know, I want my photos to make sure that they're in an external hard drive backed up somewhere so I can access those if I need to. So that's where I have mine. So if you want to change that, you just go to choose. And then right in here, you can choose exactly where you want to back that up. Now, I will say that um, uh, by default, Lightroom has this so that it does go to your hard drive on your computer. And if that's the case, uh, just make sure that you have some kind of system turned on, such as the um, um, uh, three, two, one. Just make sure you have some kind of system turned on, let's such as Time Machine on the Mac, or there's some you know system restores on the on the PC that basically allows you to uh, save uh, those folders where those backups are into another hard drive. Um, but again, for me, what works best is just put the Dropbox Lightroom backup. Now these other two, I would just keep them checked. It's just general maintenance, making sure those uh, the to test the integrity of the Lightroom catalogs, etc. So that's all I do, guys. I hit backup. And literally, it's gonna. It takes, eh, I don't know, 15 seconds, 10 seconds, maybe. Um, again, depends on the size of your catalog. It can take a little bit longer, but just make sure when you exit, you hit that little backup button. And again, the settings that I have is, you know, I think once a day is totally fine. Once a week is probably fine for most people. Um, you know, it just depends on how often you're editing. Now, just to kind of show you really quickly where mine goes to, um, if I go into my Dropbox, you'll see right here it's backing that one up. Um, but if I go into my Lightroom backups, you'll see right here. So here's one, uh, you know, uh, each week it's backing one up here. Now, again, you can do it more often than that. But um, what I've noticed is these, like I said, they're about 300 to 500 megabytes, sometimes even bigger, just depends on the size of your catalog um, and how often you're, you know, adding new photos and taking new photos out, etc. But you guys, you don't really need to keep you know, five, ten of these things. It just doesn't really make sense. Um, again, there might be that one situation where somebody might say, wow, yeah, it does make sense for this, that, or whatever. But for the most part, after you have a, f a few of these, feel free to just take one and just delete it and, and get rid of it. I mean, you have a backup of that one already. So um, again, I don't know how much time you have to go back, but I would say three or four or five of these things at most. Um, some people prefer just to take these and zip them up, and maybe that makes sense. But for the most part, I think you can just kind of get rid of it and uh, and know that you you have the latest backup and maybe a week or two behind that. So, but again, the the most important thing I just hope that you guys get from this video is that when you are backing up a Lightroom catalog, 
make sure it doesn't just go to your hard drive. Um, that really doesn't do any good if your hard drive fails you. So like I said, for me, I have it go to my, my Dropbox, um, and it makes a lot of sense for me that way. Um, if something were to happen to my Lightroom catalog, all I have to do is go grab it from my Dropbox, drag it right back over into my hard drive, click on it, and I'm ready to rock and roll again. So it's really that easy. So hopefully that helps, guys. Like I said, make sure those catalogs are getting backed up. And if you watch my other video about the XMPs, that's another way that I love um, using Lightroom so that it just auto instantly saves uh, each of my file edits as I'm making it. So hopefully that helps. Again, my name is Trevor Daly. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.